Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. And for today's video, we're going to be building and testing our second character from update 5.1. This time it is going to be Jubilation Lee, AKA Jubilee, the paywall character from this update. Now Jubilee is an X-Gene selector character. So the only way that you can guarantee that you get the character is to purchase the X-Gene selector, the monthly subscription, and choose her biometrics or extra genes, whatever you want to call it, from this selector. This is the only way that you can guarantee that you get the character. Now, if you're free to play, you still have a chance of getting the character, but you have to be extremely lucky and you have to ask Wanda for guidance. If you are lucky, you can pull Jubilee from one of these premium hero chests that you get from completing these challenges from the special mission quest pack. Those are the only two ways that you can get Jubilee, okay? You can get her from a premium hero chest if you're really lucky, or you're gonna have to buy the X-Gene Selector, right? After you get Jubilee, it's completely up to you whether or not you wanna continue to collect her X-Genes daily, like most people do with this Selector, or you can do what I am going to do today and you can just use rank up tickets on her and then you can use a mega tier two ticket on her if you wanna save time. That's what I'm gonna do today, but it's completely up to you what you wanna do. I would say don't use any tickets on her just yet. Wait and see just what I can do with the character and then make your decision because I don't know how good she's going to be just yet. Okay, boys? I don't know why the game is taking so long to load. Probably because there's a lot of people playing right now, but it is what it is. Let's actually fly through this really quickly. We're going to get her up to six stars using a six star mega rank up ticket. And we're not going to touch her any further past this point. Because if you use a mega tier two ticket on her, then you'll get her to level 60 and you'll get all her masteries and everything. The whole shebang, right? So you save a lot of resources by using one of these tickets but they do cost a lot of crystals right they do cost a lot of crystals so let's actually see okay what did she get on her gears here okay so she didn't get any cooldown so we're gonna have to roll for skill cooldown right here nice perfect okay we got it in the first attempt and after that we need to level up her skills let's see the fastball skill, I think that skill is the one that doesn't really offer too much. So let's actually go with the three skill. Let's get that leveled up because that has the immunity and you can channel that. Four skill is actually really cool because it's a V-pad skill. Hopefully it does a really good damage or good damage for her. Fifth skill, oh, this goes up to 25%. Nice, okay, that's 25%. Let's actually get this up to uh yeah let's leave let's leave these actually this has a ooh ooh hold up oh hold up oh damn 80 percent chance for your attacks to miss for four seconds that's actually pretty solid let's actually <laughs> yeah that's worth getting to um level six all right so let's see her stats here real quick crit rate is kind of low does she get a crit rate buff does she get a crit rate buff no she doesn't Okay, and her attack speed is pretty low as well. So it doesn't matter what I get, Power of Angry Hulk or Overdrive is perfectly fine. Her dodge is 18%, so I'm not trying to get Hawk's Eye either. And I'm already at 50% for cooldown. Okay, so let's roll her in ISO set and then let's jump into a little bit of gameplay with her. I don't know what I want to give her for a custom gear just yet. All right, but since I want to compare her to Rescue at some point, I will probably give her a CTP of energy just because Rescue has a CTP of energy. Hopefully we can get some luck here and get a cheap ISO set. Two hours later. All right, boys. So we finally landed Power of Angry Hulk. Spent a good amount of gold, way more than I wanted to spend because I'm trying to hoard as much as possible for Jean Grey. But at least we landed Bar of Angry Hulk. Would have been nice to get Overdrive, but the attack speed may actually work in her favor. We'll just have to wait and see. Let's actually give her all attack here. Let's actually... I don't know. Should I give her HP? 
I don't know if I want to give her HP. Let's give her defense. Let's get rid of some of these defense. Hope I, okay. I was going to say, I hope I didn't give her um, physical attack, like a scrub. Let's give her let's give her one for HP. Nah. I don't know just how powerful she's gonna end up being. If anything, I could easily just uh swap those out. Or just um awaken them and then um change it after. So it's all good. Alright, Jubilee. Let's see what you got. Let's see what these stats look like. Oof. Missing a lot of crit damage. Damn. A lot of crit rate as well. Damn. Really? 76 in the world. What is going on? Jeez. I don't know what I want to give her for an obelisk, to be honest. Like, something with crit damage makes sense. But I don't want to jump the gun on her just yet. Let's, let's go check her out in Shadowland and see how she pans out. And then we'll do a little bit of World Boss Ultimate with her. Just to give you guys a first look. Let's actually go into Shadowland first though. That way I can get a handle on the character and see what I should ideally be opening with and all that good stuff. Why do I keep hitting combat? I don't know. I be tripping sometimes. My shoelace on tie, guys. You don't even see it. Since we don't have a damage perk right now, it doesn't really matter what skill we use. So I'll just open with the four, just because I really like the four skill. Let's go four. And two. And four. Hold up. Ooh, her damage is actually really good. Damn, it's actually better than I thought it would be. <laughs> Yo, and that light show is so trippy, bro. Holy. Yo. She's putting in the work. Damn. She literally almost killed them in like nine seconds, bro. That's crazy. Yo, let's go check her on the Asgardian stage. That's crazy. Her damage is actually really good here. It's probably because of her four star passive. Holy. For no obelisk, she's actually putting out a good amount of damage. And her survivability isn't too bad either. Let's open with the four again. Three skill doesn't look like it does that much damage though. But it looks like once she gets into a rhythm. Yeah, bro. Once she gets into a rhythm and she just like. Yeah. Once the. <laughs> once the fireworks start going off, bro. She, she literally lights their asses up. Holy. Yeah, bro, look at this. Like, they're melting. Okay, I got a clip there, but damn. I feel like the real test here is going to be against Cyclops because he can hit her while she's in iframes. And that should be interesting. We might actually have to open with a three skill here. Let's see if the three skill is an instant um immunity. Let's see. We're going to definitely have to open with a three if we don't want to take damage with her. And since she's a blast type, I don't think she's going to be able to take very many hits okay nice try cyclops okay Ooh. yo she's lighting it up holy <laughs> she killed cyclops so fast <laughs> oh man yo she's fun she's fun she's fun and seeing all those vibrant bright colors bro oh my goodness it's beautiful it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful Ooh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute now, Logan. Damn, bro. She's so... Yo, I really, really like her, guys. Oh, my goodness. I dare say I like her as much as I like Iceman. Hold up, boys. Where is Jubilation Lee? Yo, that four-star passive? Yo, that four-star passive, bro. It's delicious. It's actually delicious. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why her damage looks so good. It has to be the reason. Yo, let's jump into World Boss Ultimate real quick here, guys. Oh, man. Let's actually put her against Thanos. This is going to be my new test for basically all my new characters. So let's go Coulson 
and we're gonna where you where you at jubilee where you hiding baby girl you all the way at the bottom here there you go and we're gonna bring anti-venom just because i know we're gonna take some damage here all right let's see if the damage still looks stellar let's go we're gonna open with the four again go five let's go three and let's go two, then four, then five. Oh, come on, man. I was in a rhythm, bro. She's so smooth. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's do that again. Let's do four, then five, then three, then two, then four, then five, then three, then two, then four. Yo, she's so smooth. I love it. I freaking love it. Like, if you're not reckless like me, you definitely don't need to run her with anti-venom because of where the iframes are and the damage immunity. Like, she, she's actually fun, guys. Like, I actually really, really like her. Yo. I'm digging this. Oh, man. Now, I know most of you guys who are Jubilee fans, you're going to be pissed that she's paywall. But don't worry. I'm going to be giving away $30 this month. And hopefully I can hook up a couple of you guys with Jubilee. Ooh, we backflipped right into that. Yo, she's so smooth. So easy to play. Oh my goodness. She's actually really safe as well. Like that was one of my major concerns. Like how safe she was going to be to play. But she's, she's definitely safe. Right, you can probably play her without getting hit at all, but I'm just being super duper ultra reckless because scrub lord, you know what it is, right? But she's fun, man. She's actually fun. Let's actually drop that on that firework on the ground. Woo, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. One thing I will say though, since she's like, I wouldn't say she's a childlike character, but since she's a blast character. Stay away from damage with her because I feel like her getting hit with like a full-on attack from somebody like Thanos will definitely just mess her up real bad. <laughs> right? But she's fun, man. She's fun and the damage is pretty solid here. Only stage 10, right? But this is just to give you guys a first look. And also, guys, this is without an obelisk, right? So just keep that in mind. Right? Just keep that in mind. She has no obelisk. All right, so let's actually use... The fourth right there. Yeah, third doesn't do that much damage. That's for sure. Whew. Okay, come get some, daddy. Come get some, big daddy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. I was playing. Don't, don't, don't get none. Don't get none, bro. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. <laughs> yeah, she's fun, boys. She's definitely a lot of fun to play. Salute. Salute to that marble. They actually came to it. Jubilee's actually fun. I know a lot of you guys weren't really looking forward to her because she's not really like that popular, but I like her. I like her a lot. I can see myself having a lot of fun with Jubilee. Boys, we go wrap it up right here, man. We're not going to finish this. I just wanted to give y'all a first look at the character. And I got to say, she's fun to play. Is she worth the money? Too soon to say, but what I will say is I'm having fun with her and I don't regret my purchase. But leave your thoughts in the comments, man, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Rank 89 Jubilee. Damn.